at the Supreme Court this week. The Supreme Court denied Attorney Harry Roque Jr.'s petition for the issuance of a writ of amparo against the House of Representatives Quad Committee. The court clarified that the scope of a writ of amparo is limited to extralegal killings and enforced disappearances or such threats which are not present in this case. The court directed the Quad Committee to comment on Roque's petition for prohibition within 10 days from receipt of the court's resolution. In another resolution, the court issued a temporary restraining order against the implementation of Section 11 of Comelec Resolution No. 11045, which allows public appointive officials to continue holding office even after being nominated as a party list representative. The court said that all parties are required to observe the status quo that public appointive officials are deemed resigned upon filing the Certificate of Candidacy. Comelec is required to comment on the petition within a non-extendable period of 10 days from notice. The Supreme Court and the Department of Environment and Natural Resources formally signed the Deed of Conveyance, transferring two hectares of land from the national government to the judiciary on October 2, 2024. The conveyed property will be utilized for the proposed judiciary compound in Mindanao. The Supreme Court upheld the prosecution's finding of probable cause and reinstated the arrest warrant and whole departure order against Dalia Guerrero Pastor as co-conspirator in the killing of her husband, Racer Ferdinand Enzo Pastor. The Supreme Court held that a finding of probable cause needs only evidence showing that more likely than not, a crime has been committed by the suspects. It does not require evidence of guilt beyond reasonable doubt. The court found sufficient evidence that identifies Dahlia as a co-conspirator in Enzo's killing, based on testimonies of their house help, the gunman, and the gun for hire initially tapped for the killing but who declined. The Supreme Court sought input, suggestions, and feedback from judges and court employees from first and second level courts in Zamboanga City and the nearby provinces and cities at the regional consultations for the proposed amendments to the Rules of Criminal Procedure on October 3 and the proposed amendments to the Rules of Civil Procedure on October 4. The regional consultations aim to engage various stakeholders, including judges, legal practitioners, and the academe, in discussing proposed amendments to the Rules of Civil and Criminal Procedure. In another decision, the Supreme Court ruled that it is the regional trial court that has jurisdiction over wills proved as valid in proceedings abroad. It clarified that for probate proceedings, the jurisdiction of the court is based on the value of the estate. If 2 million pesos and below, the first level courts have jurisdiction. If over 2 million pesos, the RTC has jurisdiction. For reprobate proceedings, a special proceeding to establish the validity of a will proved in a foreign country, it is the RTC that has jurisdiction regardless of the value. And that's your Supreme Court this week. I am Tiffet Indi Dublatran, Supreme Court Information Officer.